Welcome to Chetufa TV Productions. Chatufa TV Productions, connecting you to the world. Weak neochivirus case continues to be a, th a thorn in the flesh as we see a lot of Varakashi are coming, lambasting him and throwing him under the bus. Tafazo Mgwadi happens to be one of those that have started attacking Weak neochivirus for exposing Emerson Mnangagwa's rot. A lot is happening and it seems like there is a lot of ganging up that we are seeing happening right inside ZANU-PF. But the question is, is this a genuine thing? Is this a genuine attack? Or it is just trying to protect Emerson Mnangago? Why is it that most of these people, they are busy attacking weak Neuchifayo and defending Emerson Mnangago? Yet these people, they are doing their deals together. What really is happening? Because what we can see here is it's now a case of some other people wanting to push Chifayo away from Nangagwa for their benefit. So Tafazo Mkwadi on his Twitter account has written that ZANU-PF is a rigorous cadership development process which places our conscience above unsolicited, uh, unsolicited favors. The party is not aqua driven, but leadership driven and people oriented. Musa du kirwa ne mazuru zuru kusika pa kutamba ne masita ewa kuru tanaiza munosikira amana good day. So there it is. He is really attacking Wigno Chivayo and telling him that he must play with his league. He must not attempt to, you know, end up climbing up the steps to the point of touching Emerson Mnangagwa. But it is Emerson Mnangagwa who is bringing these people to his own level. Wigno Chivayo did not climb those steps, that hierarchy, to that very top. It is Mnangagwa who is doing it. Mnangagwa is the one who started just inviting Chivayo, moving around with Chivayo, flying around with Chivayo, going to all these ZCC Mpungu and things like that, donating the one million. It was Mnangagwa's plan. I do not know why today the ZANPF people are only attacking uh, a, a weak no Chivayo and they are not talking about Emerson Mnangagwa. That is double standards. That is not being fair because the truth of the matter is that both of them are to blame the situation on the ground here is embarrassing Mnangagwa more than it is embarrassing Wiki no Chifayo. Because Mnangagwa being the head of state is not supposed to be having his name dragged through the mud the way that we are seeing things happening. So why is it that some PF people are not accepting that? Why do they want to make Mnangagwa a secret cow? Mnangagwa is not a secret cow. He is equally complicit to all these deals and all these things that are happening. And for those that think that they are attacking uh, Wikino Chifayo and then Mnangagwa will throw Chifayo away, they may need to think twice again. What happened with Hubert Angel? We saw Hubert Angel coming out of the, uh, the gold mafia scandal at, uh, on Al Jazeera. And everybody thought that something was going to happen to him or he was going to be thrown to the bush by Mnangagwa. And uh, we still remember when they were saying they froze in the accounts of, 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 of Hubert Angel and things like that. And Eddie Cross came also on, 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 on media saying that uh, he, he, you are never going to see uh, Hubert Angel again. But it did happen that way. We saw Mnangagwa again back with Hubert Angel. So he's somebody who does not learn. He's somebody who does not change his ways. He continues to be arrogant and to walk in his own direction. So Mnangagwa feels like when he opposes people more, he feels more powerful. Yet what he is doing is actually going to be working against him. So it is very, very exciting how we are seeing many and many of these people coming out to attack and to lambast uh, weak Neuchifayo. We are yet going to see what is going to be the response of Mnangagwa. We have seen people like George Charamba also uh, coming out, you know, trying to defend Mnangagwa and uh, disowning weak Neuchifayo. Very, very amazing and very, very surprising. But what do we expect? This is what we expect from Sunbeef. Very, very dishonest people, people that would play double standards, 
and they pretend to be what they are not. So let's continue to watch, but this Chivayo story is not going to end well. A lot of things are going to happen. Let's continue watching the space. For those that have not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. We will continue to be giving you updates. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for liking and thank you for commenting. We will continue to give you updates as the time goes on. Continue to support the channel and continue to stand with us. We are here for you, for the freedom of the Zimbabwean people. You are blessed. Till we meet again in the coming show.